Okay, good evening everyone and welcome to PJ's with PJ, Pajama Talks with Pastor Jeannie. And I welcome you today to join me in these times of reflection. And so I'm glad that you're here. I am Pastor Jeannie Sortland and I serve the congregations of the Kensal United Methodist Church and St. John's United Methodist Church in Wimbledon, North Dakota. Kent and I went for a walk and all day my hip had been bugging me, <clears throat> but we've been committed to improving our health. And so we've been taking quite a few walks and have really picked up our pace. We go pretty well. And, um, and I'm also intent on earning activity minutes because there's a little incentive program for clergy in the Dakotas conference. And over a three month period, I can earn up to $15, so like $5 a month, just a, a little token. And then we can use that money ourselves or we can donate it um, like to UMCOR. And so it's just kind of a fun little thing um, and an incentive to take care of our health. And so here, as we walked, my hip just got worse and worse. It seemed aggravated. And, and so then Kent and I slowed the pace. I, I called it a stroll. We were barely walking. We were kind of strolling. And, you know, I'm short. I'm about 5'2", where Kent is um, 6 feet. And so that's pretty hard for those long legs to slow down the pace for my short stubs that are moving slowly. Um, you know, and also it was hard. So I had we had to let go of our increased heart rate. Um, because that's part of what's good about exercise. And I had to let go of those activity minutes because my heart rate was not up high enough to earn them. Um, but I do get points for steps. Um, and so so I was earning something at least. <laughs> not that that's why I should be <laughs> doing things for my health. Um, but, you know, I just I felt kind of like a lame duck. And I got to think about, okay, so... This is part of aging together and caring for each other. So I couldn't maintain the pace. And so the one that loves me reduced his. And I think as we are discerning a plan to come forth out of this pandemic, that's an important thought. Um, do we need to keep our pace slow for those we care about? And anyway, since it got me thinking about old age, life, death, you know, how bad off am I going to be by that age? I, you know, I hope this is just a minor little thing. And if it doesn't turn around quickly, I'll, I suppose I'll have to go check it out at the clinic. But um, but it got me thinking about the, the Ecclesi. Ecclesiastes 3 passage about for everything there's a time, a time to live, a time to die. But it was before that um, that something struck me. It was in Ecclesiastes 2 verses 9 through 13. And the passage prior to this is talking about how how this this person is searching for happiness and one of the ways was with wine, and that didn't work. Um, and so then they worked hard. They toiled. They they built all kinds of wonderful things, and they had all kinds of money and possessions like no other. And here is where it comes in verse 9. So Ecclesiastes chapter 2, verse 9. So I became great and surpassed all who were before me in Jerusalem. Also, my wisdom remained with me. Whatever my eyes desired, I did not keep from them. Okay, so anything you wanted, he got. I kept my heart from no pleasure, for my heart found pleasure in all my toil. And this was my reward for all my toil. I mean, I worked hard. This is what I deserve. Then I considered all that my hands had done and the toil I had spent in doing it. And again, all was vanity and a chasing after wind. 
and there was nothing to be gained under the sun. Verse 12, so I turned to consider wisdom and madness and folly. For what can the one do who comes after the king? Only what has already been done. Then I saw that wisdom excels folly as light excels darkness. And so a lot of times as our faith matures, um, we see that working hard to gain all of these things is not what it's really about um, in relationships. Relationships are kind of what it's all about. Um, and so hopefully some of us are taking some time to reflect upon that during this time of pandemic um, and not just being driven totally crazy by the people that we are quarantined with. But then I also started to think about God's time and how it's so much different than our time. And that led me to 2 Peter chapter 3, verses 8 through 13. But do not ignore this one fact, beloved, that with the Lord one day is like a thousand years, and a thousand years are like one day. The Lord is not slow about his promise, as some think of slowness, but is patient with you not wanting any to perish, but all to come to repentance. And that's kind of how I felt like Kent was acting with me, um, the Lord, that he was patient with me and not wanting me to not be able to walk with him. Um, but here we're talking about repentance. And in verse 10, But the day of the Lord will come like a thief, and then the heavens will pass away with a loud noise, and the elements will be dissolved with fire, and the earth and everything that is done on it will be disclosed. Okay, so everything we've been doing, if the Lord comes, well, that's what we're answering for. Verse 11, since all these things are to be dissolved in this way, what sort of persons ought you to be in leading lives of holiness and godliness, waiting for and hastening the coming of the day of God? because of which the heavens will be set ablaze and dissolved and the elements will melt with fire. But in accordance with his promise, we wait for new heavens and a new earth where righteousness is at home. And so there will be vulnerable people um, that cannot return to normal as we begin opening things up from this pandemic. Um, and I think we need to consider them and their needs and how we are going to minister and reach out to them as some of us return to somewhat of a normalcy. But until there's a vaccine or until there's herd immunity, um, this virus will remain a risk especially to our most vulnerable. So anyway, just some thoughts for you to stew around tonight. And thanks for joining me. I'm always glad to have you participate in this. So take care and have a great night.